All right, folks. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to update the firmware of our iLunes HD1 to version 1.5.8. The reason we're doing this is we want to take advantage of a new feature where the radio can store up to 200,000 digital contacts. And that's a big deal. The current database is around 130 to 135,000, so it leaves plenty of room for growth. I also want to say that I was sent this radio free of charge by iLunes slash Redivis for testing and evaluation purposes. I do have a series of videos, so I'll link the playlist below and you can check them out if you'd like. In order to update our firmware, we're going to need to securely attach our programming cable to both the radio and to a laptop that's capable of running the programming software, which at the moment is limited to Windows workstations. Either Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, any of them should work. Using the menu, I can check the version, and you can see at the beginning of the video, that's right now, <laughs> the radio is at version 1.5.4. You're also going to need to make sure that your radio is in DFU mode. That's Device Firmware Upgrade Mode. You do this by pushing down the PTT button, or the Push to Talk button, and the button directly below it while turning the radio on. Once you do this, the light on the top of the radio, the LED, will glow red. And that's how you'll know you're in DFU mode. Hello. I want GM. Nice uh, warm day here. It's about 70 degrees. And, uh... Okay, now from a Windows workstation, you're going to want to open up a browser and go to www.iluns.com. A-I-L-U-N-C-E. Once you're here, go to the main menu at the top of the page and click Resource. And you'll see uh, Aloons HD1 Resource Options. You want to scroll down and then you want to click to download. From the menu options on the right side of the screen, you want to click Software. They'll have software for both the GPS version and the non-GPS version. You want to make sure that you download the correct software for your radio. In my case, I'm going to download the HD1 firmware 1.58 and then the HD1 software 2.17. Once they're downloaded, I'm going to go to my downloads directory and then I'm going to unzip the zip file archive. On this computer, I'm running Windows 10 32-bit home edition. I'm going to right click on the file that I downloaded, pick extract all, and I'm going to extract it to my downloads folder. Once I do this, a new window will open up showing me the installation program. I'm just going to double click on that and I'm going to run through the installation like I would any other program. It's pretty simple and I'm going to speed this up because it takes a while. During the installation of the application I am going to get a couple notifications from Windows and from my virus protection software. It's because iLunes does not digitally sign this software which is understandable given the consumer base size and the cost of doing such. There is no virus on this file. There is no hacked file. There is no danger installing this file. Once the installation is complete, the firmware update tool will launch. With the firmware update tool launched, I want to make sure that I select the correct COM port. So I click my start button and then I type in computer management. And I do this because it will allow me to see which devices are connected to my computer. Keep in mind that my radio is already connected via the USB port and powered on. From the computer management console, I want to go to device manager. And from there, I can scroll down to ports, click that, and see what ports are open on my computer. In this case, port 8 is the one my radio is connected to. So I change that in the firmware update tool. Then I click the connect button. Next, I'm going to click get version. And this will tell me the version of the firmware installed on my radio, and it should match what we saw when we looked in the menu on the actual radio earlier. Once that's done, I'm going to click the Update button. Again, this takes a while, so we're going to come back when it's done. Now we get a message that has been updated successfully. We click OK and then we click Get Version and we should see that it's been upgraded to 158 and we do. Next we want to install the CPS software. 
I unpack the download file the same way I did before, and I go through the installation routine the same way I did before. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Let's detect a previous version of the HD1 software and asks if I would like to remove it. And I do, so I do the uninstall and then install. So I'm going to need a copy of the DMR contact ID database. So I'm going to get that today from a website called mpython.com. A fellow by the name of Tom, call sign KM4VIG, provides copies of the DMR contact ID database for various radio formats free of charge. He's a great guy providing a great service. So anyhow, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to download the copy for the iLunes HD1. When that's done, I'm going to browse to my downloads folder and I'm going to have to extract the file. Now that our database has been downloaded and extracted, I go back to the HD1 software or CPS. From here, I'm going to go down to contacts and I'm going to go down to address book. I'm going to open up the panel and click the import contacts button. And then I'm going to browse to the CSV file that I got from the website. When the file is uploaded to the software, I then need to copy it to the radio, which takes a very long time. I do this by clicking write contacts. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. When complete, we get a success message. All right, let's click OK and then go over to the radio and see what we got. Here we can see from the menu that the radio has in fact been upgraded to version 1.5.8. I had to reload my code plug because when you flash the firmware and do an update like this, it overwrites your current code plug. It's a good idea to always back up your code plug before doing any modifications with the software. I want to answer that and I'll get back to the check -in. So, uh, the last two that checked in on the And that's really it. So thanks for watching, folks. Go ahead and click like, comment, or subscribe. Also, a big thanks to Redivis or iLunes for sending this radio.